Hi guys, welcome to Football My Cox and today we'll be doing Premier League predictions week 13. Yeah, midweek games. Midweek games. Uh, season. Is it? All right. Every game on Amazon Prime, by the way. So later. if you don't have Amazon Prime, you will not be able to watch these matches. Uh, yeah. But anyway. And some big games as well. Big games as well, including Liverpool versus Tottenham and. First three seconds. Yeah. Giant top actually, aren't they? Oops, yeah. So, anyway, moving on. So, but anyway, starting off with Wolves versus Chelsea. Both of these teams lost last week, surprisingly. Yes. Wolves, really unlucky. Draw, uh, they were drawing with Aston Villa 0 0 for most of the match until Aston Villa scored in the last minute with a penalty. Yes. What was a shame for Wolves? And Chelsea got beat to Everton 1 0. Yeah, what was a bit, what was a surprise? It's going to be an interesting game, this. But I think uh, Chelsea are going to win it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Wolves 1, Chelsea 2. I'm going to go Wolves 0, Chelsea 2. Right, moving on to West, uh, Manchester City versus West Brom. Oh, oh God. Um, Manchester City versus West Brom. Obviously, Man uh, Manchester City drew last week. What, what did West Brom do? West Brom got B. B, I think. Yeah, no, they know. got B. Uh, but... But obviously Manchester City draw me with Manchester United nil nil. Yeah. Boring game there for Manchester Derby. It's it was not... a very bad game. I yeah. It. it was terrible. But you know, but I'm gonna go with Manchester City winning. I'm going Manchester City three, Fulham nil. I'm going Manchester City four, West Brom nil. Did you say Fulham? Sorry, I said Fulham West Brom. Sorry. <laughs> uh, four. I'm going four nil Manchester City here. It's gonna be a smashing. Moving on to Wednesday matches now. Leicester City versus Everton. Could be an interesting one. Yeah, it is an interesting one. Probably one of the biggest ones of the week, actually. Uh, well, of the yeah week, let's say that week. Um, who do I think gonna win? You know what? I'm gonna go Leicester City one, Everton one. I think it's gonna be a draw. I'm gonna go Leicester two, Everton one. Oh, so you're gonna go for Leicester, Leicester, Leicester to win? Yes. Right. Arsenal versus Southampton. Oh, it's an interesting one. This. It is, it is a very wow. interesting. Wow, Arsenal, what is going on? A Bamiyang with an own goal. Yeah. What happened Arsenal there, Bamiyang? 15th in the league. They're in a that is atrocious. They're in a relegation battle here, Arsenal. Who do you think is going to win this? Can I just say, Arsenal were started very well. Yeah. They won like three in a row. It's gone absolutely terrible. They haven't won at home for about five games. They haven't, they haven't won in like six games. Yeah, six they're, games. they're absolutely terrible. Then, but if you're losing to Bur uh, Burnley, Burnley at home, there's something wrong, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's going to be an interesting. I think Ashley will win this game. Though. You really think? Yeah, I think, I think they will. They'll have to win this game. Yeah. I said that against Burnley. I had to get a win. They didn't get the win. But yeah. this time, I... I can't see him dropping points. Is this at Arsenal? It's at Arsenal. They have to win this. They have to. So I'm going yeah. to go with Arsenal 2, Southampton 1. Southampton 2. Right. No, Arsenal 2, Southampton All right, okay. I'm going the opposite. I'm going Arsenal 1, Southampton 2. Oh, another so. defeat for Arsenal. They've got to get a win sometime soon. And I yeah, they do, it. but... But I'm going for Southampton. Leeds versus Newcastle United. It's Ooh. an interesting one. These two sides have faced in the championship about three, three years ago. Who would you say? Who would you, on top who would you say is a better form out of these two teams right now, Newcastle or Leeds? You'd probably have to say Newcastle. Yeah, you do, don't you? Obviously, they beat West Brom 3 now. Uh, was it three? I can't remember the scoreline. The one Newcastle beat. Yeah, and um, Leeds lost last week. 2-1 to West Ham. At home. Friday night. Obviously, yeah. Leeds United, they're not great at home, are they? They're not... Yeah. I they're would say they're in a relegation battle, but they're down that area, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're near relegation, to be fair, actually, I believe. Yeah. Leeds, I feel like they need to do better. Started really well at the beginning. It's gone a bit downhill, to be honest, recently. Mm. They've lost a few games. I don't think they're going to be picking up any points to, to, uh, tomorrow. I'm going... Newcastle 2, Leeds United 1. You know, this game finished 2-0 and back in the Championship to Newcastle, yeah. uh, this fixture. And, you know, I think it'll be the other way around. I think Leeds will win 2-0 here. Yeah. Leeds 2, oh, Newcastle 0. Wow. I, okay. I hope that is the way. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. All right, decent. Moving on. To Liverpool versus Tottenham. Nah. And here's the big one. So, so Anfield, watch Mourinho's tactics. What movie. is Can't going on with Liverpool? What is going on? They just drew on, to Fulham. Injury issues. Injuries. Yeah, I know, but injuries. come on, they've still got their good team on. They've got Salas still. They've got the they've got the front three. 
They've got Trent Alexander Al- Arnold. Alisson back. was back on Sunday. He was returning. And they're to trying to Fulham. Uh, Alisson had a brilliant game. I thought he was probably man of the match for Liverpool. I'm sorry. I I don't, the game. I'm sorry. I don't think Liverpool are going to win this game. I'm going Liverpool 1, Tottenham 1. 1-1 one, one draw. I, yeah. Just... They're not playing well. I know it's, it's at good, Anfield. It's, it's going to be hard for them. I know, I know it's at Anfield and all, but this is probably their hardest game so far of the season, you would say. And it's just... Like, what, what's my own tactic going to be? The part of the bus? Could. You never know. Did against Arsenal, but if... You know, Could after... Tottenham be the first team to beat Liverpool at Anfield in a few, like, in a few years? There's a chance, but no, I don't think it. I no. don't think they will. It's I, can't, got... I can't see Tottenham win this game. I can see him picking a point out of it. I can't see him winning the game, but I'm gonna hope just just for my heart. I'm gonna go Liverpool two, Tottenham one here. Right. I think Liverpool nick it just. Yeah. All right. West Ham versus Crystal Palace. West Ham versus Crystal Palace at the London Stadium. I'm brilliant for them. Yeah. Crystal Palace were good as well on. Yeah. Three, wow. Points off. Obviously, their keeper was man of the match. That guy to what what. Like Who's that? Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace keeper, yeah. What a, what a save. Oh, this is the London derby as well. Don't forget. Yes. Um, but I mean, I'm got West Ham, man. They're doing so. They're doing so well. I'm really. I'm. I'm proud of West Ham. Crystal Palace are doing all right as well. Uh, Crystal Palace are doing good as well. But they're not doing as good as West Ham, though. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a West Ham win here. I'm going West Ham two, Crystal Palace nil. I'm gonna go with a Crystal Palace one here. You're going for Crystal Palace win? West Ham 1, Crystal Palace 2. Wow. Okay, that's a surprise. Crystal Palace win for Ben. That... Fulham versus Brighton. Wow. This is an interesting one. Okay. Fulham, wow, they played very well, well on Sunday. They're tired of, towards the second half, they'll pull dominate possession like they always do usually. But what a start was from Fulham. It was brilliant. Yeah. They played the best performance so far in the Premier so far from Fulham. And they're at home again. To be honest, for them right now, they're in actually all right form. You would say they're not in they're not in bad form. Probably they're probably doing better than Oops. Brighton at the moment. They probably are actually. To be fair, yeah. I think. Obviously, do not... you know what? I think Fulham might steal this. I think they might steal it. I'm going Fulham one, Brighton nil. So I'm going for a Fulham win I'm here. I'm off for Fulham one, Brighton one. Oh, you're going for the draw. Obviously, London, obviously, Fulham, West Ham, Chelsea, Arsenal, uh, Crystal Palace. Obviously, they're not going to be allowed fans in anymore because, obviously, London have gone into tier three now. No. So, they're losing out on fans. So, obviously, I've returned back at the weekend. Yeah. I'm afraid it's not, it's not lasting long. Yeah, it's not lasting long for the Londoners, I'm afraid. Uh, Aston Villa versus Burnley. Aston Villa versus Burnley. I can, even though Burnley won away, what a win it was. But I can only see one winner here. Can you? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to watch another two Burnley nil. That's harsh. That is harsh. I'm going... You know what? I'm going to go for draw. I'm going to go Aston Villa 1, Burnley 1. Uh, I could see it. Burnley, good form. What a win from Arsenal. I know it was an own goal and all from Aubameyang, but it doesn't matter. They still won at the Emirates. Like, yeah. That's good don't for them. It doesn't matter how you win a game of football. Long as exactly. You win. exactly. What Burnley did. I think Burnley, well. I feel well, like yeah. Aston Villa will score. Someone like Jack Grealish will get it in. And then Burnley bang it in the end. I'll get a penalty or something. I, I can see it happen. 1-1. One, one. So moving on. Sheffield United versus Manchester United, the last game of... Sheffield United versus Manchester United. Oh, games. boy. This is going to be an interesting game, you know, because... <sighs> it's it's going to be a smashing. Sheffield United, they need to start picking up points. They're not going to pick up points. They're absolutely terrible. There's no goddamn way Sheffield are staying up this season. And no, I, I agree. It's not... Yeah. It, yeah. Like, what happened... What happened? They've had a lot of injury problems. Well, I would have had a lot of... Like, key players have got injuries, basically. Yeah. It's just not going their way at the moment, really. Obviously, they were lucky against Leicester a few weeks ago. They're constantly in the last minute. Didn't they lose, like, one. 3-0 last week? A few days ago. I think it, it was something like... I, th- I can't remember if it was against now. I know they lost. They lost the They're game. nowhere. Yeah, it was 3-0 against Southampton. Yeah. yeah. There's no Scotland. There's no goddamn way. They, they, they're doing absolutely atrocious. We all knew they weren't going to do as good as last season. Well, oh, yeah, we, all knew we didn't. That. We didn't really expect them to do this crap either this season. We didn't. Well, I think 
Obviously, what, what score do you think this is going to be? I'm going Sheffield United nil, Manchester United two, two nil. Manchester United will get a penalty, Bruno Fernandez a penalty, and someone like That's God knows Pogba to bang it in or someone. Yeah, uh, mate. Uh, so I'm going to go Sheffield United. Sheffield United one, Man United two. Oh, so you're going for a United win? Yeah. Oh, all right. I was tempted to go 1-1 one, one there, but we've got 2-1. We've got 2. Right, okay. Anyway, is that the last game? That's the last game. All right, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is Premier League Predictions Week 13. 13. There's some interesting games throughout the past day, few days, isn't there? And, yeah, um, obviously on Amazon Prime, like we said before. And, yeah, come, uh, but anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what is going to be your favourite match of this weekend. Uh, it has to be Tottenham. Liverpool, doesn't it? Yeah. Liverpool, Tottenham, sorry. Um... But yeah, but anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, and bye, peace. peace.